This is the LDG Z100 Plus tuner that has batteries in it, but also takes an external power cable if you want to power it that way instead. Bare end leads there, which you can put power poles on or something else if you want. This is a great tuner, and this specific setup right here is for the ICOM IC705, which I have right here. I have to take my IC705 out of this box, but that happens a lot anyway. <laughs> so this is a great tuner for that you can use in the field. You don't have to have an extra battery uh, or an extra port for it. If you're out doing parks on the air, if you're at field day, if you're somewhere in the if you're somewhere in the field without extra battery power. So you've got two options to use it internally or with the internal batteries or with an external battery. We're going to kind of take a look at it today. All right, I had to kind of modify this because I have this 705 set up in this case right now. And this case is actually made for the AH705 from ICOM, which has a tripod type mount in the back of the tuner itself that's made to mount behind this thing. Well, I don't I don't have an AH705 tuner. So I I already did a, a small modification and you'll see my video on this later this month. But I unplugged everything and I plugged in the uh I've kind of <laughs> I got a I got the uh the MFJ vertical plugged directly into the tuner but hey it's working because i'm receiving signal here we go something l gang or something like that some net going on so now i've got this in here and if i want to i'm going to change it vertically which is going to change my polarization on the antenna and that's not ideal but i'm not going to be transmitting i'm just showing you guys how this thing works this would be set up in a different situation without this case obviously if i want to go here and go to function and then tuner is off i can tune that antenna or any antenna that's connected to it right now and there we are we're tuned so boom, just like that. Now, that was all on internal battery power. I don't have this plugged in. This cable is, is an addition to it, but not necessarily needed 100% of the time because the tuner will run on batteries, which is really cool. So having a battery power tuner with your battery powered HF radio is, is very fun. But there it is right there. That is the Z100 Plus for the 705 plugged into the port on the, on the side. And it comes with this cable here. And it comes with this uh, jumper that goes from PL259 to BNC. So the BNC plugs into the radio on the back, and then it plugs PL259 here. And then your regular antenna coax lead would go here. I'm actually still receiving, even with the antenna laying down. Sounds like RFI, but I'm not showing anything on the meter for RFI. And the scope looks good. So it's just something on that frequency, I guess. Let's tune up here. Alpha Zero Romeo India. Uh, there we go. With the antenna laying on the side there, it's receiving a great signal. So, working just as just well. So, first of all, let me say thank you to LDG for sponsoring this video. If you're going to Dayton Hamvention, this video will post a few days before Hamvention. Come by the Gigaparts booth at Dayton Hamvention where you can save a 20% discount on all LDG electronics products. It's a great time and great opportunity. Hamvention is a really fun show. I will be there for the we'll be there a few days early. We'll be there through the weekend and you'll be able to find me at the Gigaparts booth off and on throughout the days on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'll probably go do an interview with LDG at that point in time because those are really nice guys and really appreciate them supporting the channel so check the links in the description below and thank you ldg and gigaparts for supporting this channel now here's what i want to see since i personally have the 705 set up like that already i don't need an ldg tuner for my 705 but a battery power tuner is fun so what i've done is i've sent a, an email to the guys and i said look i couldn't find this on your website because i looked but do you guys make an interface cable for either the Lab 599 TX500, which does not have a built-in tuner, or the brand new FX4CR from B uh, BG2FX.com. Also, no built-in no built battery or tuner to either one of those radios, but they're both really good QRP lightweight field radios. And if you want to take a tuner into the field, which these, again, these are field radios. These are made to be lightweight, portable, and field radios. If you And if you want to take a tuner, this LDG Z100 Plus would be a perfect option for that if they had interface cables to go from the tuner to those specific models of radio so i want to reach out to them and say hey make these if, if you want to you can find different interface cables for the tx500 on ebay 
I searched there and I couldn't find anything. I also searched Amazon. Didn't find anything specifically for that. Maybe somebody has something. But it's not on the LDG website, but maybe there's some ham out there making antennas that would work for that situation. Either way, I think this, if I can find interface cable for one or both of those radios, this Z100 Plus is going to go in the kit that I have for each of those radios, and I'm going to use it on some POTA activation. So be watching for that. I certainly hope we can get that done. And once again, thank you to LDG for sponsoring this video and for the support on the channel. Hope to see you guys at Hamvention 2023.